All right, boys, you guys asked for it. Let's get right to it. Who really won in Douglas Lima versus Michael Venom Page 2? This fight seems to be in a bit of controversy, and honestly, looking at the fight live, it seemed pretty easy to score in my opinion, which confused me as to why the fight was so debated on. When I looked at the fight live, I had Michael Page winning the first two rounds and Douglas Lima winning the third. But after looking at the fight as slow motion and frame by frame, it does clear up the fight a bit more. But firstly, let's look at what the judges scored for this fight, since it was a split decision. The first two rounds were disagreed on, while every single judge gave the third round to Douglas Lima, which I agree with. Ben Carlidge gave the first round to Douglas Lima, while Eric Colin and Doug Crosby gave it to Michael Page. Every single judge gave the second round to Page as well. But there was a bit of dispute about the second round online, so we're going to be looking at the first two rounds. So according to the rules, damage trumps all, and there was definitely huge damage that happened in this fight. And you're going to see the example of damage trumping control, aggression, all that stuff specifically in this fight. So let's start in that first round. Now the very first strike lands after 38 seconds of no action, and it was deemed a quote unquote knockdown. The punch does not land on Douglas Lima's head. It hits Lima's chest while Lima is trying to counter him with a right leg kick, very similar to what he did in the first fight to cause that first fight knockout. This ultimately left Lima to balance on one leg, but the pressure of Michael Page exploding at him with his body and punching his chest caused Lima to fall on the ground. And you could obviously see that Lima was not rocked at all, even when he hit the ground. So what do you really count this as? I wouldn't count this as a knockdown. Now, live, it can seem that way. I do not blame the judges scoring this as a knockdown. It was very hard to see live. But we're not looking at this fight as if we were judges saying ringside. We're looking at this fight in the most accurate way possible. So, no, I cannot deem this as a knockdown. But it is a strike that lands for Michael Page. I'll count it as a medium attack. Now, the second strike of the fight was the second quote unquote knockdown. This one actually does land to the head of Lima and it stumbles him backwards. Now, how hurt was he? I don't think he was hurt that bad because, again, he was throwing that right leg kick as a counter. He was balancing on one leg. Michael Page darting at him at such high speed is going to cause Lima to stumble backwards 100%. But ultimately, yes, this will count as a knockdown. As you can see as well, when Douglas Lima was trying to stand up, he was a little bit wobbly. A light leg kick by Douglas Lima. And then MVP goes in for a spinning hook kick that actually gets around the guard slightly. It gets partially blocked, but still able to get around the guard. We're going to count this as a medium attack. And then comes the takedown from Douglas Lima as Michael Page again throws in that darting right hand. Lima gets under it for the double leg takedown and gets it to the ground. This was an excellent takedown. And then they exchange ground and pound shots on each other. These are all light attacks though. Douglas Lima lands two punches. Michael Page lands two elbows. Then five body shots from Lima. And then as Lima stacks up, loading up on his left hand, he goes and throws it, but it skids past Michael Page's head. If this landed, this would have been a heavy attack. And you're going to see quite a few of Lima's strikes miss or get blocked by Michael Page. Right hand goes behind the head. Elbow gets blocked. This elbow actually lands on Michael Page. We'll count this as a heavy attack. Left hand goes over the head. Elbow gets evaded. Hammer fist gets blocked. Then Michael Page actually lands an axe kick to the body. Lima retaliates with a leg kick and then Michael Page gets one for himself. He lightly lands a push kick and then Lima ends the round with a light leg kick. So tallying up all the strikes, we see that Douglas Lima landed three more total while Michael Page had the more damaging shots. He had that one knockdown and two medium attacks. According to the judging criteria, damage trumps all. The closer you are to finishing off the fight, knockdowns are weighed heavier than even the biggest punches that don't drop the opponent, according to the judging criteria, you have to give the round to Michael Page. I know Big John mentioned the control time he spent two minutes on top of Michael Page, but according to the judging criteria, that is not even a factor in judging that first round. It was quite strange to hear Big John say that, even though continuously on his podcast and whenever he talks about judging, he continuously says, damage trumps, it doesn't matter about control time, doesn't matter about aggression, doesn't matter about any of this stuff, and you had a guy who knocked his opponent down. It doesn't get more clearer than that. We start the second round and they both land a leg kick at the same time but Michael Page actually gets a bigger reaction out of Lima. He landed the harder kick We'll count Lima's as a light attack and Page's as a medium. Man, this just shows how hard Michael Page hits because we all know Lima has crazy power in everything he does. Leg kicks, left hooks, right hands. For Michael Page to get the better of him out of this leg kick exchange while also being outweighed by, what, 15 pounds? That is actually pretty insane when you think about it. Then afterward, Michael Page lands a huge darting jab that gets a big reaction out of Lima. We'll count this as a heavy attack. There was a lot of momentum into that jab. He threw his whole body behind it. And then we finally get to the heavy attack from Douglas Lima. He almost makes a repeat of 
of what happened in the first fight, Michael Page again throws out that darting right hand, and this time Lima lands his leg kick and sweeps Page off of his feet, but the follow-up uppercut misses. Then Michael Page tries to get in his flying knee, misses, and improvises with a right hand that connects on Lima. Lima lands a body kick that gets no reaction, as Page retaliates with a side kick to the knee that backs up Lima for him to gauge a question mark kick that lightly slaps Lima at the end of it. A side kick to the thigh from Page, an inside leg kick from Page, and then Lima actually lands his knee on the inside of Page's leg. Then MVP loads up a huge right overhand that gets around Lima's guard and gets a big reaction out of him. Good leg kick from Lima, and then he follows us up with a body kick that hits MVP's back. Not the best target for the kick to inflict the most damage. And then here we go with the third quote-unquote knockdown. MVP darts in, sticks the jab on Lima, then he throws in and lands a huge right elbow that stuns Douglas Lima and drops him. This was definitely the hardest strike of the fight. And whatever closeness they had in terms of judging this round right here, that blow significantly changed it and gave MVP the advantage. From here, you want to see Lima do something to get the round back, but he lands nothing. He did not get urgent at all and allowed the round to get away. And that's pretty much it. We don't have to look at the third round because that was an obvious round for Douglas Lima. The first two rounds were the most disputed. And as you can see in the second round, it was much clearer for Michael Page, getting the knockdown, causing the more damage, and landing more total strikes. Therefore, another 10-9 round for Michael Page, which ultimately concludes the fight. A 29-28 for Michael Page. The judges got the fight correct. Michael Page fairly won this fight and got his revenge on Douglas Lima. I'm not mad at a rematch. I would love to see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.